Durham, Kentish Town, London, Super Saturday, Cage Warrior 69, with the winner of the first fight of the night, Darren the Dentist Stewart. Darren, that's a Cage Warriors debut. Yeah. Could it have gone any more perfect for you? Yeah, I'm um, just happy to be here, man. Uh, like I said, in the cage, it's just a name, you know, but I had to say compose, I did everything right, I think. I had a feeling it's a big lump, so you try and rush at me. I want to keep it standing, that's why I'm a stand up guy. But he shot for a takedown, I just pulled on his head, and from there, I listened to my corner. He had me tied up, and my corner said, like, get up, get up, but I was trying my hardest. And then, yeah, from there, I kind of going. I was, the elbows, he was blocking it, but I didn't really care. I was going through the guard, it doesn't bother me. You know, you, you, you say he went for the takedown, that was probably a result of the two very hard leg kicks you landed. Was it going to be stick and move, tire him out, and then finish with the KO? Yeah, that was the aim, stick and move, tire him out, but he thought leg kicks. He knew, I don't know if he knew my striking game, I looked at my YouTube or whatever, but I had the movement, like I do south, so I was dancing. I, mean, I had the movement, so he, he could take the movement, I don't think, but, you know, he tried to be tired of what happened. When you get a chance to look at the replay, when he actually sort of tries to hold you in his guard down on the bottom, you're not even looking at him, you're looking up, you're breathing. Is that just by feel now? Uh, that's what we train to do, you know, don't look at him, nothing. Just feel the way out, keep your head up, posture, and feel the way out. If you look at him, look him in the eyes, he tie you down. Just whatever he does is block it, block transition, block it. Yeah, it's block it, man, to be honest, man. Were you surprised at his resilience? Because the first line of ground and pound would have finished a lot of guys. Did it, did it worry at all, or did you know it was just a matter of time? Uh... Yeah, like my last few fights have been first round. I get told by my friends and that, like, don't rush it, you know, let it go longer. But, end of the day, you know, it's my future, man. I just want to make it. I want to go to UFC and I make it, man. So, I don't care if it's blocking. Like, some people just, okay, blocking, keep moving around. Forget that, man. I'm going straight for him. Okay. You know, no, no offense to the, to the division, but within the UK, the light heavyweight division perhaps isn't as stacked as some other, so it's, there's lots of room for quick progression. How, how many, how, how often would you like to fight this year? Tomorrow, next day. <laughs> I don't care. I'll fight many times I can. I mean, it's hard as well, you know. Because uh, I train nearly every day. I see my girlfriend, like, two times a week. I work 12 hours, so... But when I can, I'm in there. So... I tell you, there's no doubt in your focus. There's no doubt in your power. Behind a performance like that, there's got to be a team, sponsors, people you'd like to shout out. Please, feel free. Uh, shout out my friends, my family, mum for coming, my girlfriend, my boys from my area, Pennyfield, Poplar, that I grew up with, my Salsa people as well for coming, my Latin people, my work people, you know, rest in peace, my granddad. Uh, yeah, that's a bit, man, really. Thanks everyone, man. Shout out my boy as well, Josh, and the acting thing. He's been big in the acting game, so he shout me out, so I shout him out as well. And everyone, thanks for coming, you know. So if I finish it so quick, but. Hey, uh, performances like that are going to create a fan base very, very quickly, mate. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to watch you work. Thank you.